In this video, we're leaving Cox Bank Visitor Moorings, one of our favourite spots. Lovely views, and we always try to make certain we stop there for a, a little while. You'll be able to see all that on our map, what we'll put up each time we're moving. You'll see we've not gone a long way, but we're going to cram well a lot will be crammed into the video because we've filmed quite a bit and we hope you enjoy watching so get your brew a glass of wine a beer whatever you feel like sit down and enjoy watching the tiller people trundling along the beautiful Shropshire Union Canal Hopefully today, as we set off for the last two locks of Audlum flight, I'll have the microphone on. <laughs> Apologies for the other. <laughs> Learning uh, again after having a, such a delay. <laughs> anyway, we're off again. The last two locks on Audlum flight coming up too, as we leave a lovely mooring at Cox Bank. As you can see, it's absolutely beautiful. Right. Well, I had so much history about, unknown history about the uh, or done flight but I'll leave it for another time now <laughs> why I did it in uh, silent film mode but we're really looking forward to uh, having a good time the weather forecast is looking terrific which is always nice we've done all the ice and the snow over the years and the wind and the rain not anymore we got we are what well and truly i'm proud to say it we are fur weather boaters now we bought in the good weather and we have no hassle at all if there's other boats around because the canals wouldn't be here if uh, if we didn't have plenty of boats so you embrace it and enjoy it we've done it for all these years so what's different so come along, we hope to have a, a lovely time and we hope you find it enjoyable and relaxing, because we certainly will. <laughs> Whilst we've been away from doing our videos due to the unfortunate circumstances we uh, I think we've upped our game a little bit with stuff we've bought a few gadgets <laughs> and uh, I've learned a little bit more about camera work, the quality of the film and that and we've upgraded our editing software and sometime on this trip I'll show you all together what we're using and I think you'll be you'd be quite surprised how it <laughs> involved it is but we just do it because we're passionate about canals and we want you to get all the sounds you know the proper sounds you know you can have a we have a little bit of music as well but we want you to get the real sounds of boating and that's what we like about it even when we look back and do our own you know reviewing and watching our own videos on youtube we love listening to the sounds particularly on big screens with uh, a good surround sound system it doesn't half make a difference so on we go, we're going to next to the last lock 
of our flight as we had as we head south but go up the lock if that makes sense <laughs> couple of things about these locks on the Trucks Union, the Ardham flight. <clears throat> when they were originally built, because this canal was unusual in the fact that Thomas Telford was the chief engineer, but he was, he was not in the best of health. But there was three engineers who built the new part of the Shropshire Union, you know, the, from Nantwich onwards, the Birmingham and... Uh, Birmingham and Liverpool Junction Canal and the top end was the Chester Canal but once the once Nantwich this canal was completed and that eventually the name changed to the Shropshire Union Canal if that makes sense but the, it's had its problems this, the Shroppy I can go into some more detail as we go further along but embankments and cuttings and breaches cause, cause problems galore just another boat coming for this last Ardham flight so I'll hang around but when they first built this yeah I've got it burned up when they first built this section of the canal the Ardham flight all the locks had double gates and uh, that was in 1835 now in the 40s the mid 40s mostly because of maintenance as well they changed from double gates at both ends to having a single and a double and you can still see where the double gates used to go back to uh, you know when, when it was like that but for money reasons and lower maintenance they changed to single gate at one end the likes of the Macclesfield Canal the Bosley flight you know the Bosley flight they left them they've got double gates either end but then again it was a different company so that's one little thing now another thing is I don't know whether you noticed but on the uh, Shropshire Union the, the lock gates are not black and white which is the norm you know the normal thing they're grey and white now I always wondered why and I, I was just reading something just by chance and it says that the Shropshire Union Canal and Railway Company which was the people who eventually owned this canal they had a lot of grey paint <laughs> so they painted the the gates accordingly and it's been like that ever since so even though I've missed most of these locks being able to tell you everything because of that silent movie version I did previously uh, I hope you found that bit of it of uh, information interesting.
can always tell when they've had problems they put a piece of wood or something of some sort at the side for the boat to go against and this has had one put there as well right it doesn't look that bad now it looked worse before but i'll see if i can get away with it or just do a slight nudge <laughs> To the left hand side you see this detached property well believe it or not that used to be a single story lock cottage designed by Thomas Telford but sadly it is no more it's not got the character but it might it might have been in a really bad state but we used to come here and for years and years we used to see this lockside cottage always come in nice and slow for Bernadette when she wants to get back on never do any speeding because it's not safe but if you take it nice and easy there's never a problem hello again we have passed in the past we have yes. I do follow you I do remember you it's all ready for you that one, but somebody's just gone down ahead of you. Right, have you just come down Adderley? Did you come down Adderley? Yes. Thank you for following. Thank you for watching. He did, your dad loved, he loved boating, he certainly did. He was as mad on it as we were. Yes, and that's very true. Without the holiday boats, we won't have the canals, I don't think. Well, I know. Very scenic Shropshire Union is, whether you're in a cutting or you're overlooking all the rolling fields. It's absolutely gorgeous. I know some people don't like it because it's straight and it if you don't know where to moor it does have a shelf, but that's to do with the embankments. They put they put these paving slabs and that in at the side to protect the uh, sides from being washed away which makes common sense but some people are under the impression that the boats on this canal were v-bottomed who used this canal for, for in the industrial revolution but they weren't why were they not 
think how much storage they'd have lost if they'd have had V bottom boats. Note the flat square shape meant that they could take as much as possible. You know, all the goods and that could fit as, fit more and more in. And you'd lose a lot of storage if you if it was V-bottomed. So it's nothing to do with that. It was just to save the sides from being washed away, particularly where embankments are. So, you know, it's a... Uh, things are slightly different on the Shroppy than a lot of places. Just as we're going through Bridge 74 as well, just a, a little, another little bit of info. On the archway, they used to be painted white. That was because during the war, everybody had to be in blackout. You couldn't have any light and the white on them arches is what boats used to see the bridges clearly to know where they're going. I've seen that on a, a few other canals as well the, where you can see the last of the paint. It would be nice if they put them back on to give that authentic look but I don't think they've got the money all the time to do that. I don't know what it is but this stretch what we're doing as we're coming up to the next flight of locks the uh, five at Adderley it always gets windy it's weird But it could be worse, it, not only could it be windy, it could be raining and freezing cold. At least it's copable. Well, very easy to be honest.
this video comes to an end now. Lovely weather, beautiful scenery. Can't beat it, can you? Well, we, we think that anyway. <laughs> so, next time we start going up the Adderley flight. We hope you come and join us. And I'm pretty certain it'll be a nice, another nice little part of our adventure. But for now, as usual, stay safe, keep well, and we'll love you to join us next time. So, for now, all I can say is ta -ra.